Hello everyone. Today we are going to review the movie Jumanji The Next Level. So this is the second in the Jumanji uh, movie series. Hopefully there will be a third installment to this series of films because I would really like to see that, although it's been two years and I haven't heard anything yet, so I'm uh, getting kind of nervous about what uh, is going to happen with this, but I would love to see. I'm just going to actually look up here on... There was one, it says level one, but it doesn't, I don't think it was, I think it was like a short or something, maybe. I don't know, I had a totally different cast anyway. It says, shows up on IMDb, so I'm kind of confused as to, but it doesn't say any runtime or anything for it, so I'm thinking it might have just been like a short kind of weird um, yeah but I don't see any other results for another Jumanji movie in this series anyway Weird. I guess we'll just have to wait and see if there's any uh, announcement about another Jumanji movie, because at the very end of this, it's the game glitches and uh, things from the game start coming in the real world, so almost like uh, the original movie, if, I rem if I'm remembering correctly. I might have to go back and watch the one with Robin Williams again, just because it's been so long since I've seen that one, oh my god, but these ones were really good. And uh, kudos to Kevin Hart and The Rock on their voice acting abilities because I don't really know if Kevin Hart's done it in the past, but I know, I think this might have been the first role where The Rock had to do um, a serious amount of voice acting because in the first movie, they kind of had to act, they acted more like the characters, but the uh, voices didn't really change, which I guess wasn't really needed as much. Um in the first movie as opposed to this one, but it definitely added the comedic value to this one for sure because um, having uh, Milo, who was uh, Eddie's friend, <laughs> play the zoologist character because he talks really slow, so half the time, by the time he was done explaining what the animal was and what it could do, one of them had already died, so it's just it just added to the comedic value. I know they have three lives, so they always did have their chance of coming back, but, uh, yeah, it was just, it was just funny. So, unfortunately in this one, they think that the, uh, game is going to be the same, but Spencer goes back in himself because he's, I guess, confused and doesn't feel like he's who he wanted to be, and he felt, uh, like the person he was supposed to be when, he, in the first, from the first movie when he was Dr. Bravestone. So he goes back into the game on purpose, of course, None of them, Fridge, Bethany, and, uh, what was the other girl's name? Do, 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 do. Fridge, Bethany, and... Oh, yes, Martha didn't, obviously didn't know that he had went back for the game and basically built it, started building it from scratch, but obviously got sucked into the game uh, long before he could choose his avatar because when they ended up finding him, he's not who he wanted to be. He's not Dr. Bravestone. He's this uh, uh, different character thief named Ming. And uh, obviously we know Spencer's character gets nervous in high-pressure situations, so being a thief is definitely not the uh, proper character for him. <laughs> because, yeah, it just makes him... Um, more nervous than anything, and he said that the character is basically him in real life anyway, <laughs> so it it didn't make him uh, any happier coming into the game and being that character, but his friends do come to save him, and they do find out that they can switch bodies, so at the very end of the movie, they right before the final level, before facing Jurgen the Brutal, who is the new character in this game, who... Uh, 
um, who is the new character in this game that they have to uh, get. It's like another jewel that they have to find, but this one they have to point uh, towards the sun to bring back the entire land of... <clears throat> oh, whoops. To bring back the entire land of Jumanji. Sorry, my nose is running. To bring back the entire land of Jumanji, because him uh, taking the jewel and hiding it away from the sun has killed all the crops and so on and so forth in the uh, land where the jewel was originally stored around the neck of the elder. I believe that was the correct terminology they used. Um, but yeah, so right before the final level, they're all able to switch bodies and get into their own bodies. Um, or their own, the avatars they at least wanted, anyhow. Um, so Fridge switches back to the zoologist. Uh, God, why can't I think of his name? Um, <laughs> Spencer switches back into Bravestone. Bethany switches back into uh, Shelley Oberon, and uh, Fridge switches back into Moose, right? Yeah, so many names in this movie, oh my god. Anyhow, um, Milo becomes the horse, and Eddie becomes Ming, and uh, right before that, uh, Milo and Eddie have this conversation. Uh, I guess Milo was trying to make um, right for what he did, uh in the years past, because Eddie and Milo owned a restaurant together, and I guess there was some sort of um, problem they had, and Milo left because he was ready to retire, and Eddie obviously wasn't ready to leave or retire, so Eddie kind of felt like Milo betrayed him, but Milo, I guess, is sick. He doesn't have much time left, so he's trying to make right with everybody that he feels like he did some wrong to, and he just wants to have his friend back. So they do make up, and then at the end of the movie, Milo decides to stay in the game after uh, they are able to save the day, because Milo's going to die anyway in real life, so at least in the land of Jumanji, he has, a, I guess, a better chance, because he's a horse, so I guess he's kind of somewhat useful <laughs> in the game, as, and uh, he obviously doesn't have as many... Uh, predators in the game, because it seems like most of the predators are the people after one another, so at least he'll have a better chance of the game, and he might actually get some use out of his life, or I guess maybe he was trying to, like, prolong his life if he was in the game, at least he'd still be living in some sort of world, right? It was kind of a, it was definitely a sad moment in the movie when you find out that, uh, that was why he was trying to kind of make up for lost time, so I guess they're our life lessons to this is don't waste um, any moments in life. Um, if you feel like you need to make up with somebody, do it now. Do not wait, because you never know what uh, life can hold in store for you. Wow, I didn't think a Jumanji movie would teach me that lesson, but or, or give that life lesson. But anyhow, definitely a lot more comedic moments in this movie, especially um, just based on the voice acting, because... Uh, Danny, Danny DeVito and Donald Glover, um, Kevin Hart and Dwayne Johnson having to do those. Uh, that voice acting part just, just killed me through most of this movie. Um, sometimes sometimes you can kind of hear like the voices mix, but I mean, my God. Um, they did a fantastic job still on that part of it anyhow. So uh, the ostrich scene was probably one of my favorites where they have to jump the cliff. And, uh, obviously Eddie thinks he's some sort of, like, big tough guy, even though we know Danny DeVito was a very short man. He always acts about two sizes, <laughs> two size or, two, like, two feet taller than he actually is, which is funny. But then he gets that, uh, Bravestone body, or avatar in the game, and he's just, he realizes he can take on literally anything. So he, <laughs> he ends up getting them killed a lot, too. Uh, in the end, but, um, yeah, they do make it out of the game again, and then they vow never to go back, but as we know, um, the hating guy comes into the house at the end and touches the game, so he glitches it even further as to where the ostriches are, uh, running down the road. Was it emus or ostriches? I think it was, I'm pretty sure it was ostriches. 
I can't remember now what the bird was. It was one of the two, anyway. Um, and yeah, because they travel in herds, so they're running down the street, and then obviously Spencer, Fridge, Martha, and uh, Bethany are all like, oh my god, what ha what's happening now? So that definitely was a cliffhanger uh, ending to get a third movie in this uh, series, and I know the first two did really well, so I can't see why there wouldn't be a third one, but I guess maybe, obviously due to COVID and stuff, there's been delays for films, so maybe by 2022 or 2023 we'll get the uh, third one of this, that would be nice, um, because I would like to see this actually come to a proper conclusion. Um, but yeah, uh, 10 out of 10 on this movie, uh, for sure. Uh, I think this. I think I actually enjoyed this more than the first one. Um, just based on the, it doesn't even have to be the actors, just the, the comedy was a lot better, and I think the cast kind of came together better on this one than they did in the first one, um, maybe because I know Kevin Hart and Dwayne Johnson have worked together on several projects, but yeah, I feel like, I feel like they just kind of, uh, meshed together better this time. They probably, they kind of had that bond now because they worked on one film together, so they kind of knew each other better as opposed to the first movie. So yeah, I believe that's all I have to say. Um, 10 out of 10 on this one. Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment down below your thoughts on this film if you've seen it. If not, definitely go watch it because it's a blast. Um, Action-packed comedy the whole whole way through, and there's even a lesson at the end. So there you go. Um, there's not much more you could ask for in a movie, really. <clears throat> and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye for now.